hey y'all it's me lauren aka lo so natural welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are not a current subscriber hit that subscribe button i promise you won't regret it today i'm bringing you my march and april empties so if you want to see what products i finished keep watching Let's get into the products. Let's start off with the soft disc disposable menstrual cups. These I picked up. I can't even remember if I got them off of Amazon or yeah, Amazon. If you aren't familiar with these, if you're familiar with a Diva cup, this is the disposable version. Looks like this you would use this in place of a tampon these are not connected to toxic shock syndrome or any of the bad stuff that comes with using tampons i highly recommend these you don't feel them they're very comfortable 10 out of 10 highly recommend i have purchased these a number of times and i will continue to purchase these this soft disc brand is cheaper than the flex disc so i would buy these over the flex disc because of the price and they all come individually wrapped this was a pack of 14. Would I repurchase these? 100%, 100%. Next, I never talked to y'all about this brand, but I'll talk to y'all about them in the future. This is the brand Soapy Faith. This was the bar, oh my goodness. The scent notes are vanilla, coconut, milk, and brown sugar. It says for a God-like glow. It literally smells like coconut and vanilla and brown sugar. This bar of soap gets you so clean. The lather is phenomenal. I would buy these bars just because of the lather alone. The lather alone. Soapy Faith is a black owned business and they have various scents. I was gifted this bar of soap from my mom for Christmas and 10 out of 10 highly recommend 100% vegan glycerin natural and clean ingredients luxurious leather will repurchase yes ma'am next we're gonna get into some goddess of the sea beauty products that me and Bubba finished this is the oh baby oat body wash 10 out of 10 highly recommend we have used multiple bottles of this product before this is probably like our fourth bottle that we have finished i highly recommend goddess of the seas oh baby oat wash if you are expecting a child if you have a baby a toddler a child in general you as an adult can use this product I love it for myself. It smells like Johnson & Johnson baby wash. Just stronger and natural. Highly recommend. Highly recommend. If you shop Goddess of the Sea Beauty, you can use my code Lauren to get you 10% off. The bottles are eight ounces and the ingredients are aqua olive oil, glycerin, potassium hydroxide, coconut oil, sweet almond oil, shea oil, colloidal oatmeal, lavender essential oil, and fragrance. Highly recommend. Yes, we would repurchase, but we already have some. Okay, 
Next, I finished the Goddess of the Sea Beauty Strawberry Champagne Body Oil. This has the fragrance notes of strawberry, vanilla, champagne, and cotton candy. I highly recommend this scent if you are a strawberry lover. It's beautiful, fizzy. I would get this scent again. When I first was gifted this scent, instant love. Smells so good. Now, I wouldn't say it's top two, definitely top five. Next, I finished the Pineapple Berry Body Oil by Goddess of the Sea. This says Pineapple Lavender, but that was a misprint. This is a scent I enjoy. It smells really good. For all the cherry lovers, I think you would love this, but you definitely get the pineapple I personally am not the biggest fan of cherry scents, so I would not purchase this for myself, but I do enjoy the scent. Goddess of the Seas oils are phenomenal. Just try it. Goddess of the Seas scents often come out in rotation. The scents are seasonal, so if you don't see the scent on the site right now if you check back at a later time the scent just might be there i highly recommend following goddess of the sea on instagram or subscribing to the website so you get email notifications and restock lists so you know when each product is coming out and when the sales are occurring i will have my affiliate link and my code in my description box down below i also finished my goddess of the sea strawberry champagne body wash that matched the body oil the scent identical i love goddess of the seas body washes if it's one product i'm gonna have it's a goddess of the sea body wash okay I finished another Goddess of the Sea body wash. This was in a scent Exotic Pear. Exotic Pear had the fragrance notes of apple, brandy, sugar. I think there might be clove and something else. It's such a warm pear. It reminds me of a mix between Jolly Ranchers and like a pear hot toddy yeah that's definitely what it's hitting on if you ever have had a hot toddy in the fall this is giving pear hot toddy mixed with jolly ranchers the green ones smell so good i would get this scent again and i'm not even the biggest pear lover next i finished a jar of zion teaks raw aloe vera gel i use this for my face this is a staple in my skincare routine i use this after i get out the shower and dry my face i would apply a toner or apply this and then follow up with a moisturizer I use this all over if I have any irritation on my skin, if I break out, anything, dry spots. I use this on Layla. I put this on everything, okay? I put this on everything. Would I get this again? Yes, and this is probably my third jar that I have finished. I love Zion Teak. It is another black owned business with natural handmade products. Check them out if you are not familiar. Just so y'all know, most of the businesses you hear me talk about in my empties videos, I have done unboxings or reviews on the products in the past on the business. So if you're ever questioning what a business is what it's all about what they offer I'm sure if you go through my videos you'll be able to find one or you can search through YouTube the company and I probably will pop up more than likely now this product I have not finished yet 
but it is currently in my shower. This is Zion Teak Essentials Empress Yoni Bar. Now this Yoni Bar has recently been reformulated so you can't even get this formula anymore. But just so you know, this had the ingredients of thyme, basil, rosemary, oregano, and apple cider vinegar. It's cruelty free, natural, and vegan. I have used this bar in the past. It's a natural feminine cleanser in bar form. I use this on my whole body. I can use it on my face. I love this bar. Now, I wouldn't say it's my favorite natural feminine cleansers. I actually prefer Goddess of the Seas feminine cleansers over this one, but this is versatile and I like to use it. It does not have any cooling sensation. It's very gentle and sometimes I like that. So would I buy it again? Yeah, I would. I actually have another one in my stash, so I don't have to buy another one but in theory I would but I can't because it's been reformulated so I would try the reformulated bar it is still called the Empress Yoni bar it's just like Empress Yoni 2.0 next I finished this Mayao Babasu and mint deep conditioner I like Mayo products they are not my favorite in general there are some products i like this one would not be a favorite would i repurchase it probably if it was on sale i in the past have purchased my myo organics products when they had their five dollars six dollars seven dollar sales which were like annually or whatever i would stock up when the products are low low so for five, six, or seven dollars, I would repurchase it. But I'm also not going out my way to repurchase this again at the moment. Next, Layla finished some Huggies wipes. These are the natural care, sensitive, and fragrance free packs. Okay, we have a box of these and Layla really has not had any irritation or sensitivities when it has come to wipes, but I always get fragrance free or sensitive ones. So yeah, just sharing that we finished these Huggy wipes and of course we would repurchase them again, but we over here do not stick to one brand. Whatever's the cheapest, whatever is the best value is typically what we go for when it comes to baby wipes, pull-ups, etc etc next up i don't know if this is the moment some of y'all have been waiting for but let me update you on this new saw xo lavender mint foaming feminine wash it claims to be the only v wash you'll ever need i ain't like it not my fave not a fan but i think somebody would like it and i think somebody would be a fan now i do like the foaming formula but for me this one was not for me i actually have the cucumber aloe wash in my shower currently i opened the cucumber aloe one first and then i was getting low and i'm like you know what I want to try another one to compare while you know two are still open to see what I like and I definitely like the cucumber aloe one more than this one but you know I'll talk to y'all about the cucumber aloe one in another video when I finish that one but this one the lavender mint not my favorite first off the scent it smells like Lavender for sure, but like earthy, herbal lavender. And I'm not a fan. First, I'm not the biggest fan of lavender in general. 
but this scent doesn't do it for me. And of course, this is created with lavender essential oil and not fragrance oil, safflower extract, Sephora japonica extract, rose essential oil, peppermint essential oil, and coconut oil. If you don't know, Saw XO is a black owned business out of Florida. They are booming, growing, evolving. They just had a rebrand. Shout out to Saw XO. I will never bash a company. And you know, some products just are not for you. And this one is just not for me. I have found that I don't particularly like Yoni feminine hygiene products that contain lavender in it. I don't know what it is, but lavender and down there just not my favorite. So I, moving forward, am going to try to steer clear of lavender Yoni products because they just not my fave. So for anybody that wonders why I wear glasses and I know the glare can get on y'all nerves. It gets on my nerves, but y'all, these are not for fashion, okay? These glasses are so I can see the details. So if I'm wearing glasses, it's because I wanna see. Not because I'm trying to be cute or fashionable or anything like that. Any glasses that you see me wear, 99% of the time are prescription, okay? Just so you know. Would not repurchase this again. But again, I do like the foaming. I saved that little bit just so I could do that for y'all, okay? Just for y'all, so y'all can see the little bubbles, okay? It does foam up very nicely. Literally, that's all that's left in here. <laughs> yeah, not a fan of this lavender scent, but it's okay. I still have one more of the foaming washes that is not open that I still have to try. And I will keep y'all updated on the cucumber, aloe wash, and then the one I haven't opened yet is the honeydew wash. So, you know, be on the lookout because I'll update y'all on those as well. This one, no. Unfortunately, it's not the only V wash I'll ever need. Y'all, I finished two toothpaste. You know, sometimes I just like to switch up my toothpaste. Sometimes I want to use one in the morning and one at night or whatever. So I have the Sensodyne Complete Protection, which I would repurchase again. And the Crest 3D White, I would repurchase it again. I do think it did help with whitening, but I can't tell y'all to what extent because I also have been oil pulling. So I can't, you know, just credit the toothpaste when I'm using something else that could be actually whitening my teeth. So I don't know. I would use or repurchase both of these again. It's toothpaste y'all. It's toothpaste. Another pack of Huggies wipes. These are some generic feminine pads ultra thin so you know compared to the always whatever ultra thin y'all know if you a woman you know i probably got these from family dollar would i get them again if i was in a pinch yeah but they're not my favorite my favorite pads that i've tried thus far are probably by the L brand. They're a natural cotton top layer, yada, 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 expensive pads. Yeah, I like those more than I like these, but sometimes you just need some pads. Y'all feel me? 
Layla finished these pull-ups, the mini, the mini ones in a size 3T, 4T. Will we get these again? Yes, we have a whole box of them from Sam's. These I just got in a pinch because she was low and we had finished the previous box we got from Sam. So I finished, what the heck is on this? I don't even know. I finished this Holly Berry perfume oil, which is from a local beauty supply store. This is inspired by Holly Berry's perfume, which is called Holly Berry. I do like this. It's a really pretty sweet scent. It's feminine. I would get it again, but I need a break from it. So I don't want to get another one right now. This is a scent I probably would revisit in like a year or so, or whenever I want to get it again. I like it, would repurchase it, just not right now. I finished these Oral-B Floss Picks, the Fresh Mint Floss Picks. Would I get them again? Yes, I would. I love me some Floss Picks, but I also love traditional floss, so, you know. To me, it's certain things. A floss pick is a floss pick is a floss pick is a floss pick. I might not get that brand, but I will get floss picks again. Okay. This is the Shansu Parfum Chocolate Indulgence Perfume Sample, which I finished. This was definitely a decadent chocolate it almost gave me a cinnamon and chocolate vibe the fragrance notes are almond that is the only top note the middle note is caramel and the base notes are chocolate and vanilla i did like this but this is a cool weather scent for me i would wear this in the fall probably in winter beyond that i don't think i would wear this it's thick it's chocolatey you get the almond and again to me it smells like chocolate and cinnamon i did like the scent i'm not in a rush to get a full size but this is a perfume if somebody gifted it to me i would enjoy it but i'm not rushing to get it right now i finished another perfume sample this is mojave by abbott's Y'all don't, don't mind whatever is on my hand. Something was on that Holly Berry perfume oil. So now it's on my hands. This was a perfume sample I was gifted by Crystal, the best subscriber in the world. This was a dry woody or dry i think it has tobacco in it it's a very dry scent when you think of the mojave desert you think of dry land dryness dry 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 that's how this perfume smells this is not a perfume that i hate i just don't love it either so i would not go and get a full size. I don't even think I would get another travel size, but I like it. I just, I don't love it. And it's hard for me to think of when I would wear that scent. I need scents for occasions. Like if I can't think of an occasion where I would wanna wear the scent, I probably would not wear the scent. I finished this mystery oil. I can't tell y'all where this oil came from. You will know more about this oil or other oils from the creator of this oil in due time. But I just wanted y'all to know that I finished it. This was the baby powder scent and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I love my mystery oil. I also finished a sample of whew, Killian's Love Don't Be Shy. 
I really like Love Don't Be Shy. I have had and finished a dossier dupe of it, Floral Marshmallow in the past. I like Love Don't Be Shy. I don't have Love Don't Be Shy money right now, but it's a scent I enjoy. It says a scent as sweet as a Turkish Delight Neroli Orange Blossom and Marshmallow. And truthfully, I liked my Dossier Floral Marshmallow just as much as I like this. So I would probably go the dupe route before I go the OG route. That wraps up all of my products. I hope y'all enjoyed this empties. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Drop a comment down below if you saw any products that interest you, that you've used before, that you like, don't like. Let me know. Share this video with somebody. <laughs> Share this video with anybody that is interested in hygiene products, especially from black owned businesses. Send this to somebody that is interested in natural products. All that good stuff, smelling good. And if you made it to the end of this video, don't forget to subscribe. Thank y'all so much for watching. I love you guys. I love throwing away these products when I am done filming an empties video. These, these, they gotta go. They gotta go.